A short in electrical wiring in the attic above the delicatessen of the MGM Grand is being blamed for the fire. The wiring smoldered for several hours before it was discovered by a hotel employee who grabbed a hose and tried to fight the fire. We did have an employee in the area when he was pulling a house line when he saw it. It was physically knocked to the ground from the force when the attic itself let loose. That attic is open all the way across the casino, and when it let loose, it did let loose. We had flame propagation from almost one end of that casino to the other. As firemen continued their cleanup work at the hotel, thousands of people came to retrieve clothing and valuables. It's, it's, it's like a horror museum, really. I mean, it's a, it's a very emotional thing to go up and see your room that you try to get out of and you thought you were going to die in. Many did die, and the job of identifying those victims is continuing at the coroner's office. Donated refrigeration trucks are used to store the bodies prior to the necessary autopsies. In the front office, officials patiently deal with distraught relatives of people still listed as missing. So we're working as hard as we can, and as soon as there's any information, we'll see that you have it, if your wife knows. I'd like to know, somebody got to tell me about my wife. Where she is? If she's dead, she's in hospital, or where she is? It's Saturday night, and the glitter of the strip seems the same until you notice the block of darkness that was the MGM Grand. Tom Shell, ABC News, Las Vegas.